All right, here we are again at the precipice of Diamond Tier 4. Uh, this is basically our Achilles heel. I haven't actually gotten over Diamond for a long time. Uh, not for lack of try. Well, actually, yeah, I I've only tried a bit, but not a lot. So... In any case, we got quite a bit of time to uh, to progress. So maybe we'll be able to make it this time. But right now, we are at Diamond 4. And it is drafting time. We opened the belligerent. Yeah, we got a complete set of belligerent. We got everything out of this pack. Yeah, I'm taking the belligerent, of course. Blue, red is awesome the problem with this pack let's talk about it we're passing a diamond pickaxe which goes together with the belligerent also the oaken siren goes together with the diamond pickaxe and the waylaying pirates assuming this can wheel it's still the best card over here but we want one of these They are not wheeling. So maybe cut blue off. To discourage the guys uh, to our left. But yeah, that's the problem with this pack. I want three cards. Otherwise, poison dart frog. And dead weight also there. The foundry is not a card. So best that goes with this pack is either the uh, Goblin Tomb Raider or Shipwreck Sentry. Goblin Tomb Raider more than... This is Screw 3 though. Pick number 2. Do we waste pick number 2? Guess not. I mean, I guess the best out of this pack is still the Malament War Scribe if we're really going for this. Because the blue Shipwreck Sentry doesn't really do anything, right? Or does it? Cut off blue. Cut off blue. Cut off blue. Cut off blue. Cut off blue or red. The crack sentry doesn't really matter. Lodestone. Alright. Blue's getting passed. Black's also getting passed. Along with green. Not seeing red. Well, this is volatile wondered with, but we're gonna go with see if we can build around this. So lodestone needle, great kind of removal. There's Volatile Wander Glyph. Of course, we passed the uh, Shipwreck Sentry. Oh, no. The, uh, yeah. The 3-3 uh, three, three that can crew the Belligerent. But I'm hoping we can get better 3-3s three, than that to crew the Belligerent. So the best crew for this is the Waylaying Pirates. So you play this on 4. And then on 5, you have the Waylaying Pirates to crew this and actually tap something so this can just crash in. It's perfect. Or this, and then five is the Didact Echo. We're gonna take the Lodestone Needle in this spot though. Awesome cards. So, best is the Oaken Siren and the Waterwind Scout. Waterwind Scout, I've seen this wheel. I don't think it's going to wheel, but Taking the Oaken Siren here, I think, is correct. And then what we want to wheel is the Itali's Favor. Here's Abuelo's Awakening, but that's far off from what we want to do. Is it the Oaken Siren more than Waterwind Scout? Yeah. A great two. Maybe we, we get lucky and we get a Zoetic Glyph, right? Zoetic Glyph pass, because they seem to be passing blue. 
I'm okay with them passing blue because I love blue in this set. So, yeah. We are passing Water Wind Scout, though. <laughs> I don't love, love that, but... And then there's nothing for us in this uh, this pack. Uh, in this pack, it's Petrify. So it's pick five, right? Pick five if they're passing white with Petrify. I am cool with that. We can actually splash Petrify. Seismic Monster Sore can be a pick. Or the Captivating Cave, actually. But maybe we can move into white blue because it's possible if they're passing white right petrify is such a good card here's a dead weight so yeah no great passes here here's a pirate hat that's passable but it can be a thing. River Herald Scout is not a thing. Second Goblin Tomb Raider. I really don't want a second that Goblin Tomb Raider because it's not really part of an awesome. This falls off very, very quickly. Yeah, the Goblin Tomb Raider. We can even take this out if we get better cards for it, but. I guess it's the pirate hat over here. All right, we'll take that. Dang, here's a Colossodactyl. Are we supposed to go on green? Maybe we're supposed to go on green. Because I've seen quite a bit of green cards. I have seen green cards. First green versus a perfectly usable triumphant chomp. Pick seven, dude. Let's see if we can go green. Nope. Here's an awesome iron paw aspiring, but here's a perfectly usable blue card. Maybe we're supposed to be white. It's not a thing. See our wheels. Our wheel, the wheels suck. That might not even be used. Door grinder. Yeah, see, green is actually kind of wheeling. We can go green. Yeah, look at this. Because if that's wheeling, and then we open the green, an awesomeness. Because I haven't seen red cards. Red cards are, yeah, look, green. Yes. Okay. Kind of. Not really. My chest spiders iffy. That's iffy. White. So red's off the table. We're not gonna get red. Maybe white, green, white. That's perfectly awesome. Let's see where we land. This is one red. The red here isn't usable. Green is meh. Black is meh. It's really white where it's at. And we have a pretty good white card here. That's not a thing. Reveal that many cards on top of your opening number. Deals combat damage to the player. Dinosaur cards among them. Yeah, no. So we took quite a lot of blue. 
but blue is not going anywhere. Here's a perfectly usable red. Here's a perfectly usable white. Maybe that wheels. White is... Okay, here's a green thrashing brontodon. Alright, I mean, maybe green. But the lodestone is not a thing. Alright, here's Kudzil. All right, I'm in. Another one. Oh, what? Yes, yes, please. It's called Spore Nexus. What? Yes. Oh my God. As early as turn four. What? Why was this passed? This is an awesome card. We've only had it once, but the one time that we got it, it was so awesome. Yes, yes, please. Skull Spore Nexus. Okay, okay. Oh, is it the land or Watley's final strike? Watley's final strike actually really good. Oh, the land is great, man. Even Tendril and Micro Tyrant is really, really good. What the heck? What do we take from here? I want this whole pack. There's a Hidden Nursery, Huatli's Final Strike. We are going to be white, right? And green. Green, maybe more. Someone's going to rare draft this, but we can grab it. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Even the Armored Kin Collar. Ooh. That is awesomeness. But we have two dinos so far. Three dinos. Fourth. Please wheel. Even this one's great on the wheel. We might actually wheel that. Oh my god, look at that. We're getting rewarded. Green is very open. Green is open. <laughs> come, 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 green cards. Yes, please. Let's do it. Come, come, come. Watley's final strike. Malamit, okay. Ooh, here's a sand wing. I think I'll take a sand wing here. And our top end is great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. We'll take that, we'll take that. We need more cast though. Will the toad, at least one toad come back, please? No, no, no toad. All right. Three with the River Herald guide is fine. Okay, even the Pathfinding Axe job came back. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right. Selesnya Dinos. Let's go. With this post for Nexus. Let's do it. That might actually make it because we have a uh, soaring sand wing. If we can get the uh, the other seven cast dino, that's fine. Then we can put this this in. Um, we need totes though. That's what we really need. We need totes. So far, deck's looking pretty good. And we even have Restless Prairie here to open up. Okay, maybe Disturbed Slumber. No, that's fine. We can scry and craft for a flyer. So we can fly a Cavern Stomper. Yeah. Artifact. What artifact? Got zero artifacts. Oh, two? What? Oh, you and what? Oh, Skull Spore Nexus. Okay. Of course. Got 
Okay, okay. Top type 17, that's a trick, but not really usable. DP water is not a thing. So we got quite a bit of stuff here. I think I'm gonna take the tendrils. <clears throat> and then on the wheel. So Duskrow's Reliquary is also pretty good, but it requires a That's a perfect two drop though, yeah. I think I'm gonna take the two drop versus no. Petrify is great, right? Tendrils though is really good. Hmm? We let the counter expire, but we're not getting passes. Strange. How does that happen? Okay. Oh, no. There's a tote. But on three, this is better, of course. But there's a tote, which we're not going to get back. On the wheel. You're fine. We're not going to get that back. But yeah, getting past uh, Sanguine Evangelist here is pretty good. Um, we need more flyers, I guess. The bat, uh, Ultic Cloud Guard, those guys, the Dino, King Collar didn't feel. If we're short on playables, we have the Capybara, uh, Malamit, Battle Glyph. Okay, pretty good. Okay. Battle glyph here. Then I think that's the last one. We need more. Maybe the frog is required. Yeah, I really need the frog. So we can accelerate our mana. It's squint is pretty good. What? You guys are passing it squints. I'm not red. <laughs> I ain't red. Fast finding astral here is pretty good. Wow, you guys are passing it squints. Okay, well, that's what it is. Guitar Grinder, Ratigan, Panda Man, F10, Doc 05. For you. For you. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we need a couple more cards. Two drops are what we really need. Ooh, that is an awesome two drop. Versus an Iron Paw Aspirin. Yeah. If we can get uh, a bat or the Ultic Cloud Guard, it would be really, really good. Tote isn't really wheeling. Card quality is pretty good. Few wheeling is not bad. Okay. Is it you or you? More top ends, I think no. Uh, walk with ancestors versus this. Maybe this will wheel and we'll be fine, but this is more playable than that, I think. That's not really a thing. Can't. Because we don't have ways to get more stuff. Although, and it's pick seven already. No. We're looking for improvements. It's not really an improvement. This one as well. Am 
might be minded the ancestors, although we really need like creatures or two drop of some form. Yeah, like that. Okay, is it this guy? Another tendrils. Or an Otaclan landmark. Or is it Cavern Stomper? No, because we need early game. Uh, now we're just taking that because it's an uncommon. Seed stones or... Seed stones or Cavern Stomper. We'll try this out. Another capybara. No. Ooh, scythe. That's something to think about. For definite, we're definitely scythe. We need to get something. Probably the landmark. Yeah, it's the landmark. We're more green than white. We have eight. That's yeah, fine. We do start with white, so it's all good. We have tendrils, petrify. The uh, thing about this is we're no, no, it's fine. We didn't grab another dino. Dino count is at seven, which is great. Maybe we put in jade seed stones. But I think we can draw more because we got Kudzil here. Uh, do we have anything for counters? Yeah, Skull Spore Nexus. Yeah, Skull Spore Nexus, dude. All right. 17 lands. This looks amazing. This deck looks amazing. Dino Nexus. Let's see how it plays. Our curve is quite nice. 3, 5, 6, 3, and then 6 plus is 5, but uh, Skullspar Nexus can come down as early as turn 4 or 5. Because this is 8 to cast, but on turn 4, if we cast this, even on turn 3, we cast this. No, we cast a River Herald guy, it'll be a 4. On 4, we can cast a Skullspar Nexus. Yeah, that's a possibility. We're not so fast though. We're not fast at all, but I mean, we don't even produce any uh, additional stuff, which is quite bad for Glorifier of Suffering because it requires an artifact uh, or something. So it's gonna come down as a 3 3, which is not great. Uh, anything we can do so that it doesn't come down as a three, uh, as a, just a three? No, even Dusk Rose requires a sacrifice. So maybe we do need Otta Clan Landmark. But what do we cut for it? We do get a couple of bats from this, but nothing else. We didn't get 
the totes. Which we really needed, the totes. So Glorifier is not going to put any counters, unfortunately. Or maybe if we can get lucky with the bat and then Glorifier. Yeah, that might be the, uh, the thing, right? Alright, Prairie needs 4 and it's a 3-3 three, three green white llama. When it attacks, creatures your control get plus one, plus one till end of turn. Oh, Anthem effect. Okay. Okay. Alright. We're trying it. Seven dinos. Uh, let's feature Fudzil. No, it's the Nexus. Let's go. The Lesnia Dino Nexus. Boom. I think we gotta be patient because Nexus. We can get to Nexus, right? We don't need to have flyers. We're so low to the ground. The only flyers we have are the bats from Sanguine and then nothing else. It's really dinos. Tendrils. Malamit. We didn't take the Malamit. Okay, well. Let's see how it plays out. We have two. Okay, we'll do it. Okay. So we can do this. Oh man, this fetches planes. Okay. can't even attack I can do evangel yeah battle cliff isn't the way I can't even do it the battle glyph right it doesn't work next turn if he attacks I'm okay if he decides to suit this up though Okay. Four, three. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to leave it up, right? We got staggering size and we also have this. So uh, we need two to get it done. Okay, we're chilling. We got staggering size, we got Malamit. We're gonna grab another. Uh, mm -hmm. Cool, right? Can draw four piece. Awesome. Okay, the thing is we still can't play it. <laughs> Battle glyph doesn't work because it needs three green. This requires three. Okay, yeah, we're gonna chill. 
Do we? Yeah, we're gonna chill. Got three cards in hand, quite a lot. If we play this, then Battle Glyph doesn't work. Staggering size and this, you know, kind of works. All right, we're chilling. This does does it really work? Too doesn't really work, right? Whirlpool. Then what? What does he do? We're at five. This is blue black. I think we're gonna kill. All right, this one works, right? Oh, he has. Uh, <laughs> He has joined the dead. He's got joined the dead. Yeah, he's got joined the dead. Uh, does it? Okay, does it matter? Do it'll kill him. Then what? Yeah, go ahead. Battle cry. Whirlpool Exile when it dies Okay, well it doesn't even do anything but it does battle cry Petrify. Pathfinding axe jaw. Both awesome.
What could he have? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just gonna let him. Might have joined the dead. I don't want to take the risk. Aquazots. Not a problem. One six. Uh, if an opponent would lose life during your turn, flying can't protect it. But if he decides to, we can staggering size it, right? I'll draw a card. So, pathfinding. Nope. We're gonna chill. has to double block right we have a win right now if I petrify this and then attack uh no we don't have the win if he removes this We can attack right now, yeah? Petrify. Petrify this. with the uh, unstable right okay we're not going to do anything right now yeah yeah we're gonna chill so if he doesn't do anything right now we're just gonna attack and see what happens Okay. So we can have what exactly? What? Nothing. Hmm. That was weird. I don't know. He might have had just two lands in hand. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. Always such a. A straightforward game. We didn't draw into the Nexus. If we drew into the Nexus. That would have been a different game. Mm, plus, we were playing against white black. So, again, the value train was there. 
don't know. We got one, we got two. We're keeping this. Three, right? Tap three untapped artifacts and or creatures. attack with this we can attack with this we'll offer this right Okay. Oh, it's a caves deck. So he might have what exactly? Three. Okay, if we play this, we should be able to... Get out of the... The cave thing, right? Yeah. So if he casts that now... can't if we attack with this i think we need to play right now we need to play right now because um he can double block this and then we can have this all right Is it six? Yeah. No, 
that's flying. Make a land into a 7-7. Seven, seven. If it was a land, I attack. Oh man. 3-3. Three, three. I can still. 5. That's 2. We can trade with it. Should be okay. Now we can't trade with it. Okay, that's fine. He's still attacking. No blocks. Mm -hmm. 18. Seven, right? Six. This is seven. If we petrify this. And then attack with all. I can't. Petrify this. Okay. I am attacking first. Still haven't drawn the uh, skull spore nexus though. If we had uh, drawn the skull spore nexus, uh, yeah, the uh, dread maw would be attacking for like twelve. two lands we have the glorifier for the we can draw lands this would be great so we're gonna yeah we're gonna take it we're gonna keep it
this ensures we have three, but this ensures we have something on board. So we can trade off for this. We have a bat. Yeah, I think we're taking damage again. We got a reliquary. Got three lands, so he's stuck on lands. Um, he's hitting us for five, 13. So next turn, we either cut Zill or no, we do a glorifier, right? Glorifier. Three, four, three. He has to explore. What happened? Uh, yeah, no blocks. Great. Now I have the reliquary as well. Whirlpool takes care of it. Uh, we can attack for this. We can also do Boink, Reliquary, this. So attack first. The pathfinding extra, right? Um, yeah, I have to slow him down. The way to slow him down is like that. So we have six, we can draw a card, glorifier with one of the bats, attack with the bat. All right. 
We have six. We can get one again here. He doesn't have anything for the bat. The bat will just keep drawing us cards. He decides to just jam. We can jam back. He can. He has saw. Ooh, he let go of saw blades for the pirate hat. He can actually what? That doesn't really do anything. Oh, okay. So, this is a problem. If we attack with this and this, we can chill right now, yeah? He has two cards in hand. What could it be? I think. Because, again, we're playing against white, so I'm afraid of... Hmm. This is four. He can't. Again, this is two, so... He'll have to, right? Unstable glyph? What was that about? Why did you attack? Thought I wouldn't block, but that was a bluff. Why would I not block in that spot? Gets rid of his board. I got two creatures on. Sometimes it's just weird plays. Maybe. Huh? I don't know. Well. It is what it is. He was delayed on lands, I guess. That was one of the main issues. But blue, white. Again, I didn't want to play the board because uh, of unstable glyph. Blue, white, but unstable glyph is just so devastating. Yeah. Let's go. Draw early game, please. It's not great news, but okay, we'll take it. We have three, four.
permanent. So he's already up to it. So now two of our graphics ain't going through. Dead weight. As another diving blade, we're in trouble. This protects uh, the diving blade. Also ensures that we can kill one, right? Yeah. Stack hand. Gotta do the quicksand whirlpool. One more of those Valorant Battle Glyph or something will. Um, can we protect it? No, it's 3 3. 6. That's not great news. If he can take Watley's final strike, we're kind of not great, but we got a lot of land and, and stuff. Uh, three, no blocks. So we can either do the Cavern Stomper or the bag. I guess he can do something with the uh if he can do something with the final win, right? This is six. We can already um that's two. It can be the, uh... Alright, we'll do this first, because on 7... But we have to remove this, because we're at 14. Okay, if he has it... He descends on our turn. Alright. We're just gonna chill.
can click sand whirlpool beacon cavern stomper this is one two three four five six seven we can't double spell right now we can do um the Michael Tyrant, right? He has three cards. Uh, he can't. He'll tap it, and then he'll, we'll have these two on for blocks. I think I just like the Michael Tyrant here. And then have him commit to the Quicksand Whirlpool. Okay, again. Damn it. Okay. All right. We can still block with both of those and that's only a one. I can definitely block with the uh, the bat next turn. What could he have? 14. Okay. Mm, that's four. Oh, you're tapping this. Okay. Okay, so if I attack right now, it becomes really big. Um, six, seven, he taps 13. Oh, he can't block. Okay. gonna remove it tap I can still double block this which is super fine I do that I can basically kill this dude alright we'll do it
Okay. Now... We can't attack. Oh. Um, we can attack with this, right? If we skull spore nexus right now until end the turn. What can he do for this? He can't really do anything with it, right? I'll have to kill it next turn. Okay, I'll have mana up for it. That's what, what needs to happen. If he doesn't attack, well, I'll have mana for it now. Okay. Sacrifice another artifact, okay? It says from your graveyard to uh, activate only their vigilance menace. If he decides to hmm so I can whirlpool what exactly? What else do we have? Malamet Battle Glyph. I just really need to get this off the board, right? Sure, attackers. He's going to sack it. I'm gonna die now. Hmm. I am dying because of that dude. braided net Ugh. that really stinks now we can't even do that Ooh, nice so I need four oh, crap I need one more land I can get rid of this the only thing he can do is tap it So six, he goes and attacks. If he attacks this, six, four, no attacks. All right, but next turn, I'm going to be able to draw and do something. Uh oh, he's looking, so he, he drew something. Drew something pretty good.
can block this already. Let's see. Okay, if he did that, then what? Then what? This is what exactly? Am I dead? Six? I'm probably dead. If he attacks with all... He has to attack with all, right? If he attacks with all, I'm dead, right? you have three artifacts oh from the uh, thing itself well I am dead cuz oh bitter triumph yeah I am double dead yeah because of this I died right yeah, because of the braided net. I can't uh, defend on this. If I, even if I double block. Double block for the four just kills me. Right? And then he just sacks that. I should have not done that. Pass the blocker, so what am I blocking? I'm blocking this. And I'm blocking what this. I can't even block that. And this is eight. Eight. I actually did have something. If if I had Cosmium Blast, I would have survived, right? If I had Cosmium Blast. If I had Cosmium Blast, Cosmium Blast that, yeah, out of one. Cosmium Blast this, and then three, four. Yep, it was Cosmium Blast that, I, uh, that we really, really needed. Unfortunately, we didn't have it. That was a pretty good game, but yeah. White. Black. Alright, well, that was an epic game. Uh, yeah, so he took a chance. Uh, we got the Skull Spore Nexus, but uh, yeah, he just had Braided Net, unfortunately. Um, we couldn't even, like, defend against Braided Net. And he drew into, yeah, Bitter Triumph. The Bitter Triumph also, uh, no, 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 no. Bitter Triumph was okay, because, uh, we got a replacement, 
uh, dino token. So it was fine. Wow, this is a no hand. Reliquary doesn't really do anything. This is why I don't like Reliquary. Like, it, you really need something for it. And you don't have anything for it. Earliest turn is three. If we can draw a forest, please. So I am asking for a forest. Like that. All right, cool. Ask and you shall receive. drop stalker sure red black so hmm so two of our cards actually require sacrifice 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 which we don't have Gonna attack for two. Wow, timing blade. Uh, we need. Oh, we can do three, but we'll just be trading stuff off. So we need four. Yep. Not nice. We're basically just trading stuff off. Yep. Ooh. If we do this. We have a guy. We, we are, we're going to be down nine. Next turn, what exactly? No blocks. Hope we can get to the Earthshaker Dreadmaw. Maybe we can get the Sanguine. Please draw Sanguine. Evangelist would be so good. Petrify would be so good. This girl. Gotta get rid of that. Oh, we require sacrifice. Ay, ay, ay. So he'll attack with this. Then what? We'll be down seven is bad. We'll have only one. All right. No, decline. We're gonna do it two turns. We might be very, very behind. We are behind. We are drawing one. Uh oh, now we got two. That's descended. Hmm. So we can do one. Yeah, we need to. So we got to do this first. Okay. He requires sacrifice. Hmm. 
Huh. It has to be you. One, two, three. It'll tap three. He'll be bold emboldened to attack. No. This guy will be four, but it, it, it'll be fine. Four, two. Can we draw? So, we can't. Okay. If we just trade it off, is it okay? This is four two. Would be five. How can we uh, get out of this spot? Because next turn, what do we have? He has this again. And he still has one, two, three, five mana. Do we trade it off? No, I think we trade it off. Destroy target creature. And artifact. You may choose both instances. Uh, so not permanent value one or less. Okay. So I'm down one. That's not even going to help me. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the end. This dino didn't help us. Red block. What did he do? We weren't able to get our early game. Yeah, and uh, he was able to remove early game. How did he remove the early game? Oh, tithing blade. Tithing blade. And now we can't even uh. Yeah, next turn, we're just dead next turn. This guy doesn't even do anything. I was gonna be able to draw off of this, but yeah, this one doesn't really do anything. Molten, collapse, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, very sad again. I don't know. We weren't getting draws. That come on. Skull Spore Nexus. We we're getting pretty good draws. I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> I guess we were just getting lucky. Uh, yeah, we're at three wins and come on, push. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Uh, early game. How do we get early game? Trading these off. All right, we'll do that. So 
So value, we're uh, taking out value so we can get a little bit more early game. Although we haven't really drawn Walk with the Ancestors. But maybe that's the thing where the deck is telling us to please play more early game. I don't know. Bass game, Capybara versus Walk with the Ancestors. Very iffy. Yeah. Also, maybe the spiders are better because we have a spider on four that might actually be it right is that an early game it's the spider because it is a three four all right we'll do that we'll do that we'll do that but the spiders kind of ruin our day sometimes because it, it's a miller but i mean it can actually be fine uh, Basking Capybara versus Spider. All right, we're uh, putting the Spider in. It's three, four. It'll go ahead and block better. Yeah. On four, it'll pretty much block. Does not go with the deck, though. Doesn't go with Celestia. Also, we haven't really please. Get us good draws. Come on, deck. Come on. Fight. Fight for your life. Fight for your life. On our opener, the Restless Land with... <sighs> All right. Well, we can keep it. All right. We need lands. Lands, please. Lands. Two red. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Next turn, we can go Soaring Sandwing with the uh, Warden of the Inner Sky. Still be able to equip this. We can defend this now. No blocks. There is one to cast, right? So we can actually remove this. Oh. If he casts another artifact, we're kind of screwed, but it's okay. or whatever if he does cast something else we are going to just petrify this this thing evangelist next turn yep definitely just petrifying this thing because he doesn't want to play anything all right, that's the game plan now. Yep, no blocks. Ridiculous, man. Really ridiculous. That was really ridiculous, but that'll stop now. If he doesn't have any creatures or whatever, we're petrifying. Okay.
Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to. We're just gonna remove both of those. Should have played this before combat game. Okay. Starlight stuck on three lands. He can just crash and I can just win next turn. You're one to cast, right? Or one to cast, I can get rid of all of these things. Day one. I think you were greedy with this build. I don't know. You had all removals, nothing. Okay, well. We got to four. Can we get a trophy? Well, we're still at four, so there's five, six, seven. Still to come. That was a weird game. Another weird game. Like our opponent not getting any lands. Him destroying stuff. The Nexus. Um, we drew the Nexus. But yeah. That was really weird. Him opting to destroy the Nexus rather than that. Alright well. Coolio.
All right. We can go and then remove anything with the two drop. Yeah, because we don't have three. Awesome. Land, please. Forest, please. Forest would be so good. Another three color duck. Oh, and it's an enabled. Saw blades, yeah. He has to wait. Blow it up, he has five. He can put up a three. Three drop. And then saw blades. Oh, what we'll do is we will skull spore nexus. Ha 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 ha. We'll get something. All right, cool. That is so good. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He decides to do that. Three drop. Hopefully he can't kill our creature before we can drop the skull spore nexus. But if he just just decides to uh, to uh, <laughs> to craft that, we can just petrify it, right? Artifact or creature? Yeah. Petrify. Ooh. That's not great, but you can petrify. Okay, even tired on what exactly. Because he'll be able to basically remove this, but we're, we're crashing for four. Yeah. If we do four, he has to block it. Nope. So he's going to do a Petrify. Can... Uh, enters about an exile target artifact or creature. Okay, Petrify that, sure. And then you're going to leave this thing behind. We're going to double it. Um, I'm going to have an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yep. 
cool. Okay, so what are we doing? We're gonna Dust Scrolls Reliquary this. Crash for 10. Yeah, I like that. Alright, cool. We draw land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. We draw land. We're attacking with everything. He can craft that. Sure. If he crafts it, he'll have a, another blocker, but we're just crashing. A land just. Yeah. Tapping five. Well, you are dead if I draw land. Not that land. he trying to do because if we attack right now he can block this we have to block everything the smartest block is this or we can just block with these two I'll have another attacker next turn um Alright, we're good. You gonna have another one, I think? But two, four, he lose everything. Uh, what can we get? 
get? We can get a staggering size for sure. Okay. If he crafts that, he'll have another blocker, but something like our best draw is uh, Watley's final strike. No, it'll be staggering size. Our best draw is staggering size. Okay. Okay, so I can't kill him next turn, except if we draw staggering size. He can craft it. He wants to tap this. Okay. He'll craft it. But you still have three. I have four attackers. What's going on? Okay. Yeah, he's dead. All right, dude. Whatever you do, you are dead. Deado. Six seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we we got we got there. I don't know what he was thinking about though. He had, um, uh, yeah. Of course, he he wants to think about it, but. If he taps this, we still go three crashing. We'll still get there because he doesn't have nothing. He'll be able to do a craft, but he, his board is is gone. His board's gone. Cool. Well, thank you, opponent. Thank you very much. That's number five, I think. Please, five. Yes, five. So we got profit. Let's do a couple more on an awesome deck. Yeah, that's a mulligan. <laughs> Just even one play. We have the skull spore, but too many planes. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna get rid of you, yeah, because it's really not. It's impossible to uh, wield that card. We'll do three pathfinding extra. Ouch. He sends, he'll get a token. Mm. 
I'm probably no, I'm not. What could he have here? Three? I'm just gonna block, sure. Scrolls Relic Rary. We still have Quicksand Whirlpool though, right? We can't even crash into this dude. Okay, well, we are up against the <laughs> Red Green O'Hare deck. No! Red Green O'Hare. He's gonna be able to, uh, why, 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 how, how do you have, oh, you have a treasure token. The treasure token had him cast down four. Seriously? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Too strong, O'Hare. Cast on four, of course, yeah. That's way too much. All right, end of the run. We'll try our best, but I don't think this is winnable at this point. Three, three, four, three. We can cut this off. Uh, oh, he's removal. <laughs> he got removal. He's got everything. All right. Nope, still bad. Trading it off. Mineshaft Spider might have been better. I don't know. There's no chance, dude. Six. If he doesn't remove this, oh, he's got a whopping spinal strike in <laughs> this dude. <laughs> yeah, all right. We're deados. I'm gonna Jade Light the Lunker. Wow, the hard quality of our opponent's deck is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And we kind of flooded. No, but uh, yeah, it's really ridiculous, the, the card quality. So even if we do this, he's gonna crash in for us. Oh my god, yeah. Alright, what are we, what are we taking? <laughs> All right, I'm not even that mad. The card quality of the, that deck is just ridiculous. And plus, casting O'Hare on turn four. Oh my goodness. O'Hare on turn four, and then getting the uh, Surveyor, getting the Ceratops for free, and the Jade Light Spelunker. Wow. He's sitting on cloud nine. Ridiculous deck, ridiculous deck. Yeah, man, look at this. Scampering Surveyor. He even has the frog so he can cast O'Hare uh, faster. And I was like, oh, he bent the uh, the frog. What's that about? Well, it's because he's got a treasure token and, yeah. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Powerful stuff. We got to five wins, but we only uh, got two pips because we kept going up down up down i think i think we uh we we um only have two pips yeah we only have two pips so we go five we so if we had actually had a streak and then went down we won't go down to uh to tier four but as it is we kept like winning win win lose win lose win lose like that we kept we kept uh, doing that all right so this draft we opened with a belligerent but we didn't see any red 
uh, red cards. We saw some blue cards in pack one, like the Oaken Siren and the Lodestone Needle. But otherwise, it was just no, no red cards and uh, and blue cards. So we shifted over to green. And in green, we saw uh, the uh, Skullspore Nexus pass to us. Along with Earthshaker, Dreadmaw, and the Cavern Stomper. Cavern Stomper pretty early in pack one. So we shifted over to green, which was great. That's what happened. Hey, all right had had an okay time with this deck we even have restless prairie but we didn't really draw this a lot some draws not great didn't even draw hidden nursery but but we saw it on the very last uh uh scry with the uh cavern stomper but yeah if we had opened with these we mulled the last game too right yeah we mulled because we opened like with four planes and we had the skull spore nexus and green cards it was ridiculous anyway when we had the there was one game where we had like so the iffy cards here are these because there's no way to actually use these cards efficiently we had a couple of chances with the glorifier suffering which which we uh, took advantage of uh but nope it really didn't uh, pan out for us very well. Anyway, all right, we are ending the run. Uh, run ends, and we got to five wins, so we're still up a hundred gems. So we can draft more, more, more. But yeah, unfortunately, we did not uh, advance to uh, any tier levels uh, this draft. We're claiming. All right, well, if you made it this far, why don't you smash the like button? Please consider subscribing and check out my other vids. See you on the other one.